folks, it's been a while since I did some video, so uh, I thought I'd do a video on a Cincinnati favorite, uh, Geta. It's an old German breakfast food. It's basically uh, pork and beef, um, and it's, it's mixed with steel cut oats or pen oats. Um, today we're going to use steel cut oats, so basically I've got a... Uh, big ass pork shoulder here I'm going to grind up. I've got some ground chuck, two pounds of each is what I'll use. Salt, pepper, sage, uh, the steel cut oats, and uh, you're going to need a crock pot. Um, you can buy ground pork. I just got this because I think it tastes a little better when you grind it off a pork, pork sh uh, shoulder roast. Um, so that's it. Let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is cube up this uh, pork roast. I'm going to trim some of this fat off because you really don't need to have that much fat in it. And you just want to slice this up so it can fit into your grinder. So we got two pounds of ground uh, pork, roughly, and uh, this is about two pounds of ground beef. We're going to mix those together. going to mix that uh, beef and pork together and while we're at it we're going to add two tablespoons of sage here. Alright, so next thing you want to do is get your uh, crock pot out or slow cooker and you want to put three quarts of water on the stove to boil. You can put it in here and let it heat up to a boil but that It'll take a long time, so I just put it on the stove, get it up to about boiling, and then transfer it to the crock pot. You're also going to want two large onions chopped up really fine. And those onions are going into your meat mixture here. So when you've got your three quarts of water boiling, dump it in there. One bay leaf. Two tablespoons of salt and two teaspoons of pepper. Uh, it's pretty close to boiling so you want to add five cups of steel cut oats. Okay. 
And we're going to let those cook for uh, 90 minutes on high. <clears throat> All right, so after about an hour and a half, 90 minutes, your pin out should be nice and thick, just like this. And what we'll do is combine our uh, beef and pork mixture with this. You want to mix it really well, so I'm going to mix all this ghetto together. It's just uh, because I'm making so much, I need to do a little bit at a time. So after you got it mixed up real good, you want to put it back in the crock pot, set it to low, and let it cook for three hours. Just want to let it cool and pack it into a bread pan like this and then chill it or freeze it. Then you can get it out and slice it and fry it up. So it's been in the fridge for 24 hours and we'll see if it'll come out of this mold here. Then you can just slice it into pieces and fry it, and uh, cut it into blocks, saran wrap it, and freeze it. 